I'm on the bike again. Doing my cardio. Got one more minute, then we'll be done. It's pretty cloudy outside today. All right, so uh, just sitting here watching Marvel movies. I've been binging them lately. And I decided I'm gonna have a little cheat meal today. So this will be my first meal of the day. Very late first meal of the day, but I just grabbed some Burger King. And interestingly enough, they, they, uh, oh, sorry, the TV's a little loud. Let me mute that for a second. They, they top these cups off with, uh, like a, like a bubble tea kind of thing. It's kind of cool. So I'm just gonna, oh, oh there we go. So it's almost like I'm drinking a little bubble tea, but it's just a, it's just a Coke. Isabel, you freaking out because the door's open? But uh, yeah, just grabbed a little Burger King, gonna have a little meal for myself, and then uh, probably do an in-home ab workout after. All right, how's it going, everybody? So uh, <clears throat> it's actually the end of the weekend, but I decided now is probably a good time to record the voiceover portion for the workout that I did yesterday. And uh, yeah, so today is the end of weekend or week number 10, and I'll be starting week 11 tomorrow. It's definitely been a grind, um, but I'm looking forward to the next two weeks and ending out this 12 week cut. When I first started this, it was, you know, I really didn't know how far I would go. I thought I would quit to be honest, but I'm glad that I stuck it out this long. And I think part of that um, was being able to do these videos for you all. And that's kind of helped me stay on top of everything. And just like I mentioned in the very beginning, this was really a way to keep me accountable. So anyway, Let's talk about the workout. So the first thing for, so the first thing I did today, or the first thing I did on Saturday was uh, deadlifts, some deficit deadlifts. Everything here was uh, four sets of eight, except for the deadlifts. I did do four sets of six instead. And here I'm just moving 140 kilos and really just, um, Focusing on that tension that I feel in my hamstrings, trying to build up some nice, build up some nice hamstrings. <clears throat> I would have gone heavier, but uh, to be honest, I really just didn't feel like it. Um, I kind of want to save my lower back a little bit. My lower back has been a little bit sore these days, so I kind of wanted to give my lower back a break and. Uh, yeah, so the second exercise that I did was the uh, Romania deadlift, and I'm not going as deep as I normally would with this exercise, and my reason is, honestly, I was already pretty worn out from the deadlifts, and so I kind of wanted to take it easy. But yeah, four sets of eight went by real quick. I kept the weight the same at 100 kilograms. And next was, I believe, the uh, single leg uh, dumbbell Romanian. And with this, I am holding onto the rack just for balance purposes. And here I like to utilize a neutral grip. A lot of people that I know, or a lot of people I've seen that do this exercise, um, they have the, the dumbbell right in front of their leg. But for me, I like to have it to the side of my leg. That sort of helps me uh, get into a better position. When I have it in the front, I kind of tend to feel like my my leg is shifting. So my hips are shifting in a weird way. But yeah. So I started with... So I alternated sides per set. Um, still four sets of eight. With a 20 kilogram dumbbell for each set. And it felt pretty good, more or less. I think I got a pretty nice stretch. Next was some hamstring curls, very simple. I actually had to throw dumbbells onto the stack. Uh, so basically in between where you see the cable and then the metal rods, 
I just stuck dumb dumbbells in there uh, to make the stack heavier. I don't know if this is a good idea because I don't know the weight rating for this cable system, but in any case, I did have to put those in because the entire weight stack was not heavy enough for me. But in any case, uh, hamstring curls actually felt really good today. Normally, they are a little bit painful for me, but today it felt really good. Or Saturday, it felt really good. Keep saying today. Anyway, next exercise here that you see, it's a little bit awkward for me to get in there, um, but I am doing some hip thrusts. And actually this uh, hamstring curl machine is a little bit better for hip thrusts. Uh, the pad actually has the ability to go a lot deeper than the one at my normal gym at Rainbow. But again, you can see that there's dumbbells in there. And so I had to make it a little bit heavier because, well, to be quite honest, I can hip thrust a lot of weight Normally, my working weight with hip thrust, if I'm doing barbell hip thrust, is uh, somewhere in the upper 300s. So, with these hip thrusts, I prob I just uh, I did them as slowly and contracted as hard as I could to make it a little bit harder. And the next exercise you're seeing here, I am sitting on the floor. Uh, I just basically grabbed a couple plates and I stacked them onto my lower abs and my quads and try to nestle it in as best as I could. And I'm just doing some very simple um, hip or glute bridges on the floor and really just concentrating as much as I can on my glutes, keeping the weight uh, pretty much directly over them. And these are actually a really great warm up exercise for the glutes, uh, but I use this as sort of a uh, sort of a finisher for my glutes. Next exercise, uh, the glute press down. Uh, basically with the hip abduction and adduction machine, I place myself um, sideways to it or uh, perpendicular to it. And I'm basically kicking back. And so you can call these a glute, uh, glute kickbacks too. Um, that's pretty much what I'm doing, but I am also doing a press down with this. Again, four sets of eight and utilizing the entire weight stack because I can do quite a bit of weight with this exercise. If you see me here just swinging it back around, um, but yeah. With this, I do like to have the pad actually a little bit lower on my leg. I would have preferred it to be a bit lower. I probably could have adjusted it to be around my ankle instead of on my calf, but either way, um, the, the exercise felt pretty much the same. It's just a little bit um, uncomfortable for the pad to be on my calf like that. But uh, anyway, the last exercise was some leg press. And with this, I uh, this leg press is a little bit it's a little bit finicky because as you can see the pad, so the actual pad of the leg press uh, where you press, um, it's pretty vertical, but the track um, goes up on an incline. And so it does tend to get a little bit stuck at the bottom range of the motion. So it was a little bit awkward. It felt a little bit awkward. And also the track is not the smoothest because you know, it's not like super high quality equipment, um, but yeah, so I, I don't really know how I feel about the track. Anyway, that conclude that concludes the workout uh, that I did yesterday, and yeah, today I'm pretty much just um, relaxing a little bit. I did have that cheat meal that you guys saw, and uh, that's about all I got for today. Uh, I am recording this with my phone instead of with my, you know, with my camera, just honestly out of sheer laziness. But anyway, tomorrow we'll be coming back with a new week, week 11. And uh, we'll be, you know, coming back real strong. It will be a benching day for me. But like I said, I am going to take it easy on the bench. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how much weight I can comfortably handle with all my shoulder stuff. But Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. That's the end of the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. 
if you want to get into online coaching, please email me at thebarbellbear at gmail.com. Before you leave, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. I will catch you guys tomorrow.